Welcome to Gemadism Total on our channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily create a new volume on a fresh hard drive. Let me show you. Hold Windows key and click R, so you write in run, and then you'll write in disk disk mgmt dot msc enter here we have it this is the disk management tool to utilize this space here because this on disk one is our new hard drive we've put in the system currently and we will need to create volume to even use this and it's very simple. If however this hard drive has been used by someone else before you'll need to delete all partitions if they already have partitions or maybe even data on it. You'll need to definitely delete that. If you have to reselect a boot option when you try to restart your computer it may have been the case that it has an earlier operating system on it. And if you need to delete all partitions please watch my video which should be in the description or otherwise in my tech tutorial play playlist on how to delete all partitions on a hard drive because you'll need to use command prompt. Anyways let's get into it. So how do we do? What we do is we create a simple volume. That's the most best thing to do. Just click next and here we have maximum space. You can select how much you want of it to be um, used and I'll set this to max but if this is an SSD I would leave around 10% uh, unallocated to basically make the SSD both faster and live longer but this is a regular hard drive so we're just gonna use all the space. Then we'll click next. You can select the drive letter you may use any one you like. We're gonna use X just for the fun of it. And then you'll just uh, click next. If you will use this uh, disk for like Mac or some very old systems, you might want to format it in XFAT, but it's kind of inefficient. So for all Windows users, please select NTFS. If you have, uh, you know, Windows 2000 or newer, I suppose. So anyways, uh, allocation size unit, you can absolutely leave this at default. The default is usually 4000. But uh, in some cases you want to use it as lower or higher. If you have real issue of fitting all the stuff on your SSD you might put it on minimum but it will also then be slower. If you put it on maximum it will be faster to browse through the hard drive but you will be able to save less data on it if you have small files like for example if you will install an operating system on it. So. Usually, if you don't know or are not certain, just select default. On this particular hard drive, I will only save movies, pictures, music, so I'm going to select it as max allocation unit size. Now this will make it slightly faster to, to search, but it's not going to be a significant difference. So default is fine, is what I'm going to tell you. You can choose a custom name for your volume, which is fun. You can either select to perform a quick format or not. Usually quick format is absolutely fine. If you would get into some type of issue, you could try and do uh, uncheck this box and try again. Then just click next and finish. The drive is now getting formatted. It will take a little time or very fast. And here we have it. We have a, you know, beautiful hard drive. We can make new folders, store big files, sample. So there you have it. That's the simple steps on how to create a new volume. Hope this video helped you and if it did please leave a like and do subscribe. I'll see you in the next video and comment if anything below I usually answer. Anyways, see you around. This is Jim Desmond, channel, signing out.